Hello and welcome back. My name is Alex. This is the Single Track Sampler. And as many of you guys know, some of you may not, I currently live in my Mazda hatchback right here, AKA Sheila. And I've been doing that for about four years now, full time. Um, currently, I'm working on a really big project, super excited about it. I am working on upgrading on getting into a van and being part of the van life. Part of this whole process has been talking to other people that have already been part of the van life and exploring other types of rigs and seeing how other people have done it so that I myself can make the van of my dreams. Uh, and that's especially important because I know nothing about vans or vehicles or handiwork or carpentry. I know nothing about this. Um, but luckily, I've got some really awesome friends and one of them is here with me today. This is Hannah and Havana. Many of you probably know her. And we are back here at the Katsuma Trailhead where I first met her, which is really funny. We just got off of the trail and now Hannah is gonna give us a full on tour of her really, really dialed van. I, ha I wanna do this tour because I think her van is a exceptional example of the style that I would like doing. And uh, so yeah, it's like, for, it's for me and for you guys. Um, so let's do it. Oh, hey, can you give us a backstory real quick? Like how, how the heck did you end up in van life? Yeah. Um... Short version Put on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Short version. Uh, I lived in Boulder, Colorado for 12 years. Uh, worked in uh, kind of the corporate world. I was an HR manager at a little tech startup, and um, the company I was working for was acquired. Uh, my department was cut, and I decided to say screw it. Uh, I sold everything I owned, uh, rented out my house, bought a van, and hit the road. Um, so I spent nine months full time living out of my van, driving around North America, learning how to mountain bike. Um, I drove just shy of 35,000 miles in nine months, hit 30, wow. 33 states and three Canadian provinces. Um, that's sick. Yeah, I've since um, put down a little bit of roots in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's kind of home base now, but I'm still in the van. Um, I'm pretty almost, sure you've been in the van more often than not this yeah, past month. I'm, I'm still on the road more, more than I'm at my house. But uh, yeah, so I'm just finishing up a little five day trip here to the Brevard area, about to head back to Chattanooga. But happy to give a van tour before uh, we're yeah thank you for it yeah van life so first perfect thing, first thing you should know about van life yeah is you should get really used to giving van tours my next van design though i'm going to get a sign that says we'll trade van tours for showers because that's the hell one thing yeah i don't have in my van is a shower and okay do you wish you did no i don't i don't so what what is the rig and why'd you choose it yeah what so van this is a 2014 ram pro master um, this is the, the mid-size and then there's the longer wheelbase um the really nice thing about this one is that it fits in a normal parking spot so yeah. it's it's no longer than a normal or than a large truck yeah. oh yeah and it's front wheel drive right best turning radius it is front wheel drive it has a killer turning radius i can pull a ue like nobody's business <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get to the good stuff okay. welcome to vanna so when i bought the van it had about 10,000 miles on it the pop top was already on it, paneling was done, electrical was done, yeah. um, and I bought it off of uh, off of a guy on Craigslist. Word. I, I fell in love with the first van I saw, and I remember thinking like, you can't. You're so lucky. You I've, can't I fall in love with the for first like van months you... and months yeah. and months. And I went and I looked at other vans, and I like started to price out build, price build outs, and uh, I kept on having dreams about living in this van, so. Sick. So I just went back. And... Lucky. Hey, buddy. You got it, oh, there's Bud. This is Buddy. Maybe the best part about this van is the fact that there's um, a pop top. So yes. the whole roof goes up. Should we start with that? Yeah, why not? So like, I think a lot of people might have been wondering when you said it's a low, short one. It's like, where do you sleep? So that is the answer to that, is that she has a pop top. So I have a remote that raises it, and then there's a switch on the wall. While this is lifting, I will say... Like I've put a lot of thought into whether I want a pop top or a standard height one. And we'll, we'll get up in there because once you get up in there and see how much space it affords you for your sleeping area, it's, it's hard to beat. Even if you have the long wheelbase and the high top sprinter or whatever, you don't, you'll never have as much room for a bed as you do with a designated second floor pop top. It's insane. This is what it looks like when it's in its full glory. So you see it gains like quite a bit of uh, size. Like, I mean, it almost, it doesn't double the height, but it comes real close. It makes it a little more challenging to stealth camp. Um, yeah. But it's 
But still, if you're somewhere like in this parking lot or in a campsite or oh. I don't know, even at a Walmart that allows overnighting, like it's totally fine to yeah, be like that. Totally. Uh, yeah, so maybe just basic setup in here. I have LED lights on dimmer switches. Oh, wow. Upper and lower. This is the kitchenette. Um, underneath the glass top here, I've got the double burner stove and the sink. Um, all in one. Yeah. Cool. So stove is propane. Um, I have a propane tank under mounted on the outside of the van. Propane fuels the stove and the Propex heater. And then the water pump here uh, turns on the sink. Super easy. Yeah. All closes up, which is really nice and gives counter space after that. Yeah. So hey, do you wish you had more stove top? I, I've been meaning to ask you that. Do I wish I had to more cooking? stove Like top? more room to cook. No, not necessarily. Um, the one thing that I knew is that I needed some sort of counter space, right? Because if this is up and I'm cooking here, I have nowhere to chop vegetables or whatever. Right. Um, so I added this countertop. So if I slide that forward. Ooh, I forgot about that. I've got that. Yeah. That is super handy. And, and you have the top of the fridge here. So does that have a freezer and a fridge in it? Uh, mine doesn't. Mine's just a fridge, but you can get them. It's quite a good uh, space though. Yeah. You got a whole bunch of goodies. When I was traveling full time, like I could go a solid five days with fresh groceries and that's sick. Yeah. That's like, that's honestly, that's also, that's one of the big, big ones for me. It's bike storage, comfortable sleep every night, good food. Yeah. I eat really well. I and mean, cooking. I a love lot of vegetables cook. can fit in there and obviously they, a they beer. stay a lot a lot of beer. <laughs> you can have your beer like resupply in the back and then it's just every time yeah. you take a beer out of the fridge you gotta yeah, refill it. That's so, a good idea. so it doesn't take up too much space. Someone's um, done this before. So all the latches are these little pop out latches um, that lock when they're mm -hmm. pushed in, uh, which is a must have for any kind of van drawer. Yeah. So silverware drawer. And then um, I have pots and pans which cool. bowls cutting boards the whole works yeah that's definitely more than little, enough room right in there yeah little holes Smart for everything yep so they don't move around yeah i heard i mean i know that that's like number one struggle in the van is you have to have everything so it's not moving when you're when you're yeah. moving and I, everything in this cubby is on sliders so um i have trash and a recycle bin which i actually use um excuse my trash but i actually use as cool. dog food storage okay so if you're traveling with a dog a lot of people forget to think about where the dog food's gonna live in the van and the fact that the trash and the dog food can be tucked away in here, I, I almost never have issues with things smelling. Other things, so I do have one swivel seat. So it opens up the space a lot if you're yeah. hanging out with people in here. You can, you can, you can move it this. to any angle, huh? Yeah, and like, okay. the, wait for it, it's sticky. This right here is like the clutch breakfast. Oh, cup that's of so perfect. Yeah. I'll sit here and oh, yeah. eat for hours. I um, think that that will be, the more I think about it, that will be my workstation. Yeah. I need to have some sort of desk that can go right there because that's gonna be hands down the most comfortable seat in here. Yeah. What is that? Little solar lights. And yeah, hold on. So, they, so you put them in your windshield yeah, and that powers it? Yeah, and they charge during the day. What? That's cool. So at night, if you're like at a campground and hanging out, you can just put those out on the table for, for that lighting. That is a really sweet um, little light. Yeah, and they're also waterproof. Shoe cubbies. So initially when I designed the build out with uh, with my tour rig, they, I asked them to build um, a permanent shoe cubby here. Um, and we worked together through the build and quickly realized that um, we could just put these plastic bins here from the storage container store and they were much more effective and affordable. I specifically made sure that there was a place to put shoes. Um, things, if you have a dog, like dog food and water bowls are a pain if they're moving around the floor. So you always want to have those. Let's show them through. that. Yeah, the dog <laughs> So this is, and same with shoes. So yeah, this is Bud, uh, my dog's dog bowl. And oh, it's a little sticky, but yeah. So um, food, it's filthy, food, water. Um, and, and I it actually, just closes like a drawer. Yeah, it just closes like a drawer and I actually leave a little bit of water in it even when we're driving. Um, it typically it doesn't spill too bad. How many people do you feel is like a good, uh, the most that you can have inside of here and be comfortable down here? For like not sleeping, sleeping just, or hanging. just hanging out? Yeah, just hanging. So it's mixed. You can see two people there and one person there is the most comfortable is like three yeah. people. You could have somebody there and then they're kind of awkwardly turned. Right. Um, the nice thing about the Colorado camper van design for their pop top is um, this is all panels, at least back to here. Uh -huh. um, 
and the upstairs bed, the mattress is also in panels. If I had a bunch of people hanging out in here, I could just flip that. That freaking opens up everything yeah. so much. So then it's even more comfortable. That's fantastic. To have people hanging out. That was yeah. an absolute must in my opinion. And so it, we also made sure with the design of the kitchen here um, that my main cook area was in this little hole which you use to get up into the pop top. Right. So even if this panel isn't flipped, I can stand here and cook and right. not have to duck. Yeah. So I have a mid roof or a low roof fan. I don't have a high roof fan, um, but I can still stand in here. Even. Yeah, because the pop top adds a couple inches. That's something that we didn't mention earlier. Yeah, it does. When that was, that's well, another benefit of the pop top. Cool. All the windows are aftermarket. Um, so this is another thing. I used to think that I didn't want windows in my van because I wanted complete privacy and complete, um, you know, I wanted to be undercover. I didn't want people to know I was in the car and my bikes and my life were in there. But the H Hannah and being in her van has really kind of, and these windows, these type of windows has proven to me that I think I actually do want some windows and I'll let her tell you why she likes them. Well, one, they're, they're tinted, um, so they are quite tinted. Actually. Yeah, they're quite tinted. Um, airflow is huge. So whether I'm cooking or I've got my dog in here while I'm out going for a ride or something, um, these have screens. This one doesn't. Um, but just having them open, you get a little bit of a cross breeze, which is right. nice. Um, I had curtains made. They're a really thick fabric. Mm -hmm. They are a little insulated, and they're they're pretty much blackout. Yeah. So when I have these closed. Gosh, even last night I slept here in uh, Asheville in front of a friend's house and I put up my sunshades and I closed the curtains and I had the lights on full blast and you cannot see into the van. You can have the privacy when you're in populated areas and then have the like immersion or feeling of immersion when you're in beautiful places, which is really kind of where I will be spending most of my time regardless, so. You wanna help with the van tour? What's up, Come buddy? On. There you go, show everybody what you got. Where's your bowl? Hey, dude. You guys forgot me out there. No, we didn't. So with the bench, uh, one, <laughs> this is my, uh, this becomes my underwear drawer. So all my underwear and sports bras and all that kind of stuff <laughs> goes in there. Um, and that pulls all the way out. But it's nice that I can access it either way. I can pull it out or I can lift up the bench. That is pretty handy. The heater is built into this part of the bench. There's a little bit of extra storage space back there too. If I lift this up and pull the drawer all the way out, you can reach back there and tuck mm. some things down there. Okay. So I've got things that I almost never need. I'll just tuck down there, extra jackets or whatever. My favorite part of the bench is the hidden cubbies, um, which is where I keep the majority of my clothes. So behind here is this little latch, which is where all my clothes stay. So that is super nifty. And what do you keep up here? Just anything? Yeah, toiletries. And sometimes I have extra food in here, depending on how long I'm traveling for and how much food I'm carrying. Right. I've got a charging station in there. Um, it wasn't specifically designed to be in uh -huh. the cubby. It just, when I bought it off the guy off Craigslist, that's where the charging station was and it ended up in the cubby. And, okay. Um, so it's nice, so it's kind of tucked away. Oh, hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> hey. What are these are ridiculous. Yeah, I clip little I clip like pictures up there. That's my attempt at decorating. <laughs> <laughs> this is the remote for my fan, which is up there. Okay. Um so what type is it? Which one? Uh it is a Max Air. How do you like it? It's great. Um it works super well. I don't have an air conditioning unit and with my dog in here I can easily keep it cool even in ninety degree weather in the sun. Really? Absolutely. This is like your dry good storage, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Just nice little cubby. So what type of floor do you have and why? I have uh, laminate, or do you like it? Yeah, laminate wood change. floors. They were left over from my house. <laughs> so oh, I had wait, a you put the boxes. floors in? Yeah, so before it was a disgusting carpet. They hide dirt relatively well. I've had this for two years and I don't, I think they look pretty darn good. There's Yeah, they do. There's almost no scratches between me and a dog and bike cleats. Um, yep and it's super easy to brush out. Like every van lifer has some sort of yeah. Yeah, dustpan. Another reason the pop top is like such a good combo is because it's not the only option when you have the pop top. Um, this is another option like for sleeping. for sleeping down here. If you were in the city or if you have people staying with you and one of my biggest objectives of the, of the van is to be able to have people come do collaborations with me you know to for brian or seth to be able to just fly and come meet me wherever i'm at and have a place for them and it's 
then there's no worry about anything. Yeah. And it's, this is that spot. This is where they would be sleeping. And it's not ideal for super tall people, um, but I'm five seven and I can sleep like pretty comfortably um, diagonally. I mean, I can sleep. I can fit sideways too. too. I, I yeah. tried it the other day. So I thought about building a, a table into the design and some people have like the bar that you screw into the floor, but then there's that thing in the middle that you right. always step on. That's my really advanced terminology. Um, We're super sophisticated So I here. found this table on Craigslist for $5 and it works like a charm. So there's my table. It's mobile and um, I can take it outside and cook and I can sit here and Super work. simple. To me, it wasn't worth having like a permanent desk that said I could only work right here. Mm -hmm. Having this also means that while I'm cooking dinner, like right. I can set this table up over here and then I can flip back and forth and have extra chopping space or yeah, I agree. I can have That's appetizers pretty... out on the table while I cook. And you can bring it outside if you need yeah. to, you know, if you're cooking around a campfire or something. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty versatile that way. This is a cool little storage area just up above here. Just throw random shit. Yeah. It... Ooh, good catch. good catch. That was good. Uh, yeah, olive oil, uh, oh, whatever. That would be like the spices. worst thing to splash it That would be the worst. That's <laughs> really good save. Uh, beer koozies. Um, yeah, and again, it's got a built ledge into it. And right. I don't know how much this does, but whatever. But the ledge works. Yeah, hold on, let me kill my, kill my ginger beer. Normally, Vanna White is stuffed with amazing snacks. I feed people all the time and friends. <laughs> I invite them into my You're, bed and you offer are them a candy smart and cookie. Um, okay, so getting up into the pop top, I stand on the chair. Oh. And then you just pull yourself up. And if you need to, you can step on the little corner of the cabinet. I'm going to hand this up to you first. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, wait. Let's. Yeah, here we comes. And then you step on your. Yeah. I mean, that's not so bad, right? No. Hey, can you tell me <laughs> what's up with this? Yeah, I, an old coworker of mine gave me that once. I threw it in my old Jeep when I used to go camping a lot and I always slept with it in my tent and then I thought it was appropriate for van life. Look how spacious yeah. this is up here. Yeah, let's unzip some windows. So the pop top has um, three layers. Um, so insulated blackout, clear plastic layer, and then there's the mesh layer. That is so sick. And yeah, we'll unzip And you've had, it. okay, so like one of my first questions was how sturdy is the outside of this? Cause you know, that'd be catastrophic if this thing was always tearing or breaking or whatever. Have you had any issues? No, I mean, I've, I've owned this for just shy of two years. Um, I, I lost a zipper pull, so that's, okay. that's nothing, right? That's just yeah. being lazy and not replacing it. Everything- Woo, cross pretty, breeze comes in yeah, fast. Yeah, it gets cold, yeah. <laughs> So no, I've, I've but look how much light comes in. any problem with the like ma material or the design of the pop top. I love how bright it gets. That's so important. And just being up here, I can imagine being up here in so many cool places and this, it would just be so, so great. Yeah. I mean, I've even done day trips from Chattanooga to just go to ride bikes and I'll mm -hmm. pop the top and just hang out and have lunch up here. and read a book afterwards and it's like a little mini vacation. So to give everyone a perspective of how long this is, can you lay down real quick? Your head isn't even touching the end of it. Yeah, my bed's up here. Dang. And my feet are nowhere near the, the bottom. Wow. Yeah, so there's lots of room. I've noticed you have like, you have a cat pillow down it, there and a cat pillow up here. Yeah, yeah you own a dog. Yeah, I, I don't actually own a cat. I just, and I'll never, I'll probably never own a cat. I just kind of want to be the crazy cat lady. <laughs> and there's some jokes about that. Oh, hello there. All the way down there. What's up, buddy? Hey, bud. Hey, dude. So this is kind of nice. Don't mind the like junk space, but um Yeah, no. The, this oh. is this is a super super cool thing about the top is that not only do you have a massive bed over here and all this space, there's all this extra storage space over here. Yeah, so even when the top is down, um, I mean, all that stays even when I take the top all the way down. So I have an extra blanket. I put my half dirty clothes there. Hmm. Um, other thing with van life is you don't get to wash your clothes every time you wear them. And it's it was important for me to understand where I would put half dirty clothes so that I could, you know, I'll wear a yeah. riding outfit two or three days in a row. I store my little library and all my maps and stuff like that. Even here. a little, even a window out, out that side, you will have full yeah. 360 degree yeah. windows on this thing. 
I like that I have um I have regular bedding up here, so I have a regular comforter and sheets. Yeah. Um so I'm really not, comfortable. I wasn't sleeping in a sleeping bag for a year. Yeah. Which made it way more comfortable. Yeah, feels, I can vouch for that. It's like it's home. as comfortable as the uh, Paco pad is you can't beat an actual bed. <laughs> <laughs> um should we go see the garage? Yeah, let's go check out the garage for sure. The most fun part. Cool. This is great. Yeah. So um bike racks. Everybody asks about bike racks. I have a two uh, two bike rack. I really want a four bike rack, so wink wink, Kuat, if you wanna <laughs> okay. um, yeah. So Hannah H Hannah has been okay. shuttle sir, has uh, helped shuttle us many, many times. Yeah, so right now I can in fit two, two bikes inside comfortably and two on the bike rack. Um, I legally can only seat two people, but for quick shuttle laps I can squeeze a bunch of people in there right. if I need to. Um, and then the other thing that's nice about this Kuat rack, of course, is that this is a bike stand. So um, yeah. you can... That's, yeah. And also your rack attached. Yeah, so that's the swing arm attachment. So this allows me to get the bike rack out of the way. and So that you can access the back. Open and access the back, yeah. Woo! The fun stuff. The garage. I have a closet set up here for hanging storage. Um, when I was in my van full time, I mean, I was, I carried enough stuff for all four seasons. So I had a ton of clothes in there. Right. I can keep my, um, you know, pump here, mm -hmm. an extra bike lock. Um, and then the solar charger stuff, a controller is, um, is all here. Yeah. And there's one solar panel on top and it was already on the van when I bought it. And if you ask me a lot of electrical questions, I know I nothing about I it. So I couldn't, know, <laughs> I, know the answer. I do have one extra battery that, uh, sits under the driver's seat. Um, and it's charged by the solar panel when it's sunny out or it charges while I drive and that charge or that, um, battery will run the sink pump, the lights, the fan for <laughs> my dogs doing weird stuff over there. Um, the fan for the heater and the fan for the vent. More shoe storage. I like that stuff. Yeah. That's so a good spot for those. A lot of shoe stuff lives up there. The Extra stinky type hooks. of shoes. There's like hooks everywhere on the Yeah, I actually for... really like the way you have a spot to hang your helmet and camelback. Yep, and I'll clip Because they always need to dry. Pads to, to dry out. Um, I've got your brand new bike. My brand new. This is my Kona process and it's beautiful. Yeah, so these. Um, this mount is from Rocky Mounts. They're a company out of Boulder, um, Colorado. So you have to take off your front wheels. I do. Yep. But and then it slides to mounts down. and just slides right out. Yep. And it's super stable. Like it's not going anywhere. Right. Um, and yeah, with two bikes in there, I just tuck the wheels in between and just keep, watch out for rotors and mm -hmm. good to go. <laughs> I am a proud owner of a come along, uh, with towing things. Wait, um, what is that? No, that's not a slack it's, line. I guess it's called a come along. Oh, so to pull people. Yeah. Or to get you or out. Or to get me out. Yeah. Um, when other people get your van stuck in the mud, they. I feel like you were just talking to someone through the lens. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was all good. Yeah. So um, I have that tucked in there. Okay, it's um, the car stuff. So the there's the wheel wells in here, right? So there's not a ton of room. Like the wheel is right here. Um, like that's it. The okay, wheel's right see, there. Okay. I see. So. So you actually okay. Interesting. So I always thought that this, I could, if in my build, I could leave this out and get more bike space, but honestly, I probably can't because no. of the wheel well. Yeah, you, you can't. Dang. All of these cubbies back here, I don't know how to describe it, but they were designed to be accessed from the most practical point. So like this space here in this cubby is dead space back here. Like it's hard to get to, Right. which is why that opens to the front and right. that's where the closed cubby is in the front. Yeah, that makes um, sense. This opens straight to the back because this is just awkward space when there's two bikes in here to try to access. Mm -hmm. I like this material. It's very yeah. tough. And this stuff works super well for me. I can lift them up and which I don't, but I Holy could lift cow. them Holy cow, I didn't realize until just now that, that you didn't have regular flooring back here. Wow, yeah. that's really thick. Yeah. And so I'll, I can just take some hose water and rinse this out or brush it out and it's, it has held up pretty darn well. Cool. This is my laundry line or my changing area, which of course you can always change in the van, but right. it just tightens. And so I can hang dirty or wet clothes on it. So super um, important. That's one thing that no one ever thinks about until living on the road is how do you get things dry? Yeah. How do you get things dry and how do you like, 
the half dirty stuff, like yeah. having a place to kind of stuff it that you don't have. Yeah, I saw dirty you had a, clothes a dirty everywhere. clothes hamper back there. I do. Yeah, I have a, I, that's the, like real dirty clothes, and then there's the half dirty. <laughs> that I'm gonna the still stuff wear that you can wear a second time, a yeah, a third, yeah. fourth time. But yeah, this is because I just put stuff right now. I put stuff. I lock stuff into my bike racks on the top of my roof, and I'll drive with it. <laughs> But thank yeah. you so much for the van tour. Anytime. The official van tour. Um, I can't wait to get in my own van. I'm so excited. Yeah, oh, hey, bud. I'm stoked for you. Me too. It's it's definitely, it's like such a daunting task that it, honestly, it's so nice to know someone that has actually done it to be able to talk, like get opinions uh, for things. Yeah. Like, because it is a huge project. It's so big. Yeah. And you know, at the, like you'll make a couple of mistakes and you'll figure things out along the way. Yeah. You'll change a few things up, but um, I think you'll, yeah, you've got some good people working with you. You're, you're in good hands. I think so too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for the tour. Let's get some burritos. Yeah, let's do it. Until I see you guys next time when I'll have an update for you on the van situation. You guys know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and stay stoked. Hashtag van life. <laughs>